hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to make this stew uh, this tomato stew with uh, chicken and beef so the ingredient I'm going to be using for this is you're going to need about um, four to five tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil you're going to need some concentrated tomatoes I'm going to be using 260 grams of this I have to here for my Maggi cube I have some salt some onion chopped about a medium onion or one full onion curry powder thyme ginger powder you can use fresh ginger paprika garlic powder and uh, some thyme so here which I'm going to be showing you uh, how I steam what I what I used to steam the meat the meat is steamed already and I'm going to also show you how I blend the tomatoes I blend the tomatoes then I allow them to cook for the water on the tomatoes to dry so now we are ahead let's get to the cooking so guys these are the things the tomatoes I'm using I'm using this long three long pepper and I'm using a one medium uh, paprika fresh paprika red bell pepper two garlic onion and uh, some onion so I'm going to blend all together and uh, yeah after blending them I'm going to add them into the saucepan into the pot as you can see over the heat and uh, I'm going to cook them until the water in the tomatoes are well dry so yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing here and uh, here I'm going to be um, putting the spices together I'm using rosemary ginger uh, garlic powder um, uh, thyme onion salt and some maggi to season the the meat so that is what uh, you are seeing here so I'm just adding the meat to the pot and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add all the spices I'm going to be using for for yes, them after adding all the seasoning I mentioned what I'm going to I'm going to add a little bit of water stir them all together and cover them to steam until they are cooked so what I'm going to be doing here because the tomatoes is already cooked is already the water is already dry so I'm going to transfer the tomatoes because I want to be using this saucepan for this to make this too so I'm going to transfer the tomatoes on this bowl here so guys, over the pot or the saucepan, you are going to be adding the vegetable oil you are going to be using. Or you, if you want to use more, you can use more about a half cup of vegetable oil. So you're going to let the vegetable oil to heat before adding the onion. I also forgot to tell you that we're going to be using some pepper. This pepper, you can ground the pepper with, um, you can blend the pepper with the tomatoes, but I want to throw the pepper into the sauce this way because I don't want the pepper to overpower the sauce because I have a little baby at home that will be having this sauce together with me so guys the, the oil is hot now so I'm going to be adding the onion and allow the onion to sustain for a few minutes before adding the concentrated tomatoes that I'm going to be using here so guys allow the onions to sustain for about two to three minutes now I'm going to be adding the concentrated tomatoes you can use any concentrated tomatoes of your choice so I'm just going to go ahead now and add all into the, the oil and the onion. Then I will show you the next step. So guys, I'm going to stir the concentrated tomatoes now. So after stirring them, I'm going to start adding the spices that I'm going to be using here, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start with the cubes. I'm going to be adding the cubes into the sauce. After adding the cube, I'm going to follow by paprika. It's by, it's optional you can choose not to use paprika but i love using uh, powdered and fresh paprika when i'm making this sauce so i'm going to be adding um, ginger powder which is optional as well you can skip this step of ginger powder sometime i'm going to be adding more time fresh time into it rosemary some garlic uh, powder and uh, curry so after adding this I'm going to stir them and allow the, the concentrated tomatoes to continue cooking so now I'm going to add salt so after adding all the spices you're going to be using I'm also going to be adding a, a, a leaf of a bay leaf inside into it 
added some bay leaf and uh, some fresh and the dry, um, some fresh thyme and rosemary. You can use dry thyme and dry rosemary. It's perfect. So you stir the tomatoes and um, you allow them to cook for five minutes on a medium heat. Stir them continuously to avoid them from uh, burning. So yeah. The next step, I'm going to be adding the, the fresh tomatoes inside. So I'm going to show you when uh, I'm adding the fresh tomatoes. So guys, I allow the, the tomatoes to cook as you can see the color. When the color change, that is when you're going to be adding the fresh tomatoes you are, you are using. So I'm going to go ahead now to add the fresh tomatoes. After adding the fresh tomatoes, you're going to stir them all together and you taste if to know if the salt is enough but anyway, at this stage you don't know if the salt is enough or not so you're going to let the tomatoes to cook down a little bit then you, you will taste the salt I'm going to show you that process so right now I'm going to cover this pot to, for the tomatoes to continue cooking on a medium heat on a medium heat so yeah, I'm going to show you the next step. So guys, I'm going to throw in the pepper now into the sauce. And uh, I let this sauce to cook about 10 minutes or so. When it change color, when the color, the, when, it, when the sauce change color is when you will start adding the meat you are using to cook it. So I'm going to go ahead and add all the meat I'm going to be using. So now that I'm done adding the, all the, the meat, I'm going to add a little bit of the stock that has come from the meat. Not all the stock, just a little bit of it. Then I'm going to stir them all together. So guys, after adding the stock and stirring the sauce, what you need to do is to test if the salt on it is enough. Which my own here is enough, I'm not going to be adding any more salt to it. So I'm going to cover it now and allow it to continue cooking on a low, on a medium heat until it's a bit dry. This is going to take me another 10 to 15 minutes because I'm going to cook it in a low heat. So after it is done cooking, I'm going to bring it back to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is the final step. The sauce is cooked. It's well, well cooked. As you can see so i'm going to turn off the heat now and i can enjoy this sauce with rice with potatoes with yam with bread as well so or with starch and with anything you, you feel like enjoying it with so thank you all for watching and if you haven't subscribed please do so and uh, i will see you all on my next video god bless you bye